Next up, we need to represent the solutions. And the solutions will, again, look very similar to stable marriage problem solutions. The big difference, really, is that a solution will be, as before, it's going to be a list of pairings of men and women. Let's say MI and WJ. But we're not going to have one pairing uh, for every man and one pairing for every woman, so that every man is matched with exactly one woman and every woman is matched with exactly one man. I'm actually going to describe that down in the next part, what makes the solution valid and good. Well, in this case, things are a little bit different because a valid solution is going to be a matching. And since we've already learned that word, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. It's a matching with exactly size of W pairings. I guess I could also say NW. Uh, in which each woman appears once and no man appears more than once. Okay, so this is effectively what means a solution is valid. You know, what's the difference between valid and good? Uh, <laughs> later on, we will do optimization problems where good means good. We'll have a, a measure of quality of a solution and we'll be looking for the best solution among many feasible solutions, solutions that work. Uh, but for now, I'm just using valid and good to distinguish basically between the things that maybe with brute force we'll explore uh, for valid and the things that will actually be solutions for good. So again, these aren't technical terms, they're just words to help you think about the problem. So what makes a solution good? Well, presumably what we want to say is a good solution is a stable solution, much like with SMP. In USMP, we're still looking for a stable solution. But the question is, what does stable mean? Well, stable means no instabilities, right? I.e. no instabilities. But that begs the question, what's an instability? And the definition of that may have changed, because now we have men who aren't married. And remember, before our definition of instability always involved two people who were already married to other people, not to each other, and who preferred to be married to each other. So uh, let's just try and, and brainstorm this. And remember, we can always go back to our examples to make this a little clearer. In fact, let's go back to our example and let's see if we can manufacture a matching that's unstable. And it's unstable somehow because of a man with no partner. And it has to be a man with no partner because of what we just said about what makes a solution valid. Every woman has a partner, but some men might not. So let's go back up to our small example and we'll see if the somewhat random preferences that we wrote down actually serve to give us a situation where we can create an instability that involves an unpaired man. Uh, so let's see, I see that woman one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at our top small instance here because it's the one that's got a leftover man. We're certainly not with this instance down here going to get an unpaired man, because there are two men and two women. This is just an SMP instance. Every SMP instance is also a valid USMP instance, because we said there are at least as many men as women. If we'd said there were more, then we'd eliminate all the SMP instances. But back to that top example, then. I see that woman one prefers man two. Man two doesn't prefer woman one, so there's not an obvious necessary connection there. Woman two prefers man one, and man one doesn't clearly prefer woman two. Okay, so there's there's no there's no pair uh, where they both have top preferences for each other. Uh, let's see. How about looking at their bottom preferences? Woman one, her least preferred man is man three. 
So if we paired her with man three, then she would rather go to one or two. And ah, there we go. If we pair woman one with man three, that's her least preferred partner, right? She'd prefer either of the two existing men. So it kind of sounds like we're going to be able to create an instability there because there are only going to be two marriages, right? So somebody among man one and man two is going to be hanging out and is going to want to marry woman one if she decides to come and offer them. So there we've got woman one matched with man three. How about woman two? She likes man one. Uh, let's go ahead and put her with man one. It shouldn't really matter who we put her with. And are we going to have instabilities? Let's see. So man two obviously is not paired with anyone. Let, let's start with, I'm just curious here. It's not terribly important, but let's see if man one and woman one or man three and woman two constitute an instability. And then we'll take a look at man two. Uh, so man one and woman one, uh, man one would rather be with woman one than woman two. Right, man one would rather be with woman one than the person he's paired with, woman two. Uh, woman one, yes, woman one would also actually rather be with man one than with man three. Uh, so maybe we can adjust our preferences to make this even more interesting. Uh, let's make it so that she would not rather be with man one. Let's just move man one to the end. Okay. So now she would not rather be with man one. So man one and woman one no longer constitute an instability. We did that just to try and make it so that necessarily we have an instability that involves an unpaired man. Okay, so woman one does not want to be with man one more than man three, even though man one wants to be with woman one. So that's not an instability. Next up, we can look at man three paired with woman two. Uh, let's see, man three, no, man three is happy with woman one. Man three prefers to be with woman one and is with woman one. And so there's going to be no instability there because regardless of what woman two wants, man three is not going to agree. So that leaves just man two. And let's see if man two together with woman one constitutes an instability. Uh, clearly man two with woman two is not going to constitute an instability because woman two is with her top preference already. Okay, so woman one would rather be with man two than with her current partner, man three. So here's man three right here. She'd rather be with man two. Man two has no current partner. So how do we talk about an instability? Usually we ask, would he rather be with this new potential partner, this partner in the instability, than with his current partner. Well, we've already assumed that every man would rather be married than unmarried. And we actually made the same assumption about women. It's not quite as relevant for the women as it is for the men. So implicitly here, man two would rather be with woman two and woman one, any of the other women, than with no one. So this does constitute an instability. So we need a new definition for instability, and this example kind of gives it to us, right? The example says a new definition for an instability. The old one's still good. A new definition might be a woman and a man where the man is unpaired and the woman prefers the man to her current partner. We don't need to say anything about the man preferring the woman to his current partner or to no partner because he doesn't have a partner because the man prefers every woman to no partner. So it's no problem on the men's side. If there is a woman out there that would prefer an unpaired man to her current partner, then it will be an instability. Awesome. So working through that small example gives us a lot of insight. Remember, that's what our trivial and small examples are for. So let's scoot back down. And let's define an instability now. Okay. So what is an instability? An instability is, I'm just going to say an SMP instability because we've already defined that. It's in section 1.1 in the textbook. Or, a woman 
wi and man mj such that mj is not paired with anyone if you wanted to by the way you could write this with set notation we can describe the solution it's a list of pairings so we would basically say there does not exist a woman such that mj comma woman is an element of the solution but let's just say it in english uh, mj is unpaired and we know wi has a partner right wi prefers MJ to her partner. And that's it. We now have a definition of an instability that includes both the old fashioned SMP instability and this newfangled unpartnered man instability.